I mean, we can introduce you. I'm sure everybody who can see the camera knows that you need no introduction. No, 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 no. Keep going. Yeah. As you're probably aware, they were not arguing, but both their points are valid. USATF's Journey to Gold Zone podcast, Eric Kennard Jr., saying that Lyles needs no introduction is 100% true. For his part, Noah wanted to be introduced properly. After all, he worked very hard to achieve each and every accolade and deserves to boast about them if he wants. Which, as you may have noticed, he does. With the Summer Olympics happening very, very soon, he wants to have something more to brag about. But he wants you, you're, you don't want to just win gold medals. Oh, no, one is too little. <laughs> you, you said that you're, you're looking to come home with four. Four. Four, four. Gold, but that's never been done. That's why I want to do it so badly. He wants to surpass Usain Bolt's greatness. As you know, like Lyles, Bolt needs no introduction. His name speaks for itself. After all, he is the fastest man alive. However, the American sprinter does not only aim to be on the same level as the Jamaican legend. Every, everybody knows Usain Bolt. Great guy, great guy. I love him. Fastest, fastest. Yeah, I want to be faster than that. <laughs> yeah. But it's not just, you know, good enough to be faster than that. You also have the medals to go with it. Okay, well, he's won three already, and he has the world records when he did it. Okay, what do you, you got to do to be better than that? You got to get four. Some say that's too ambitious of him, while others believe that he has what it takes to do exactly that. After all, the professional track and field sprinter ranked first in the world for his 100 meter and 200 meter in 2023. He also earned the bronze medal for the 200 meter division at the 2020 Olympic Games in Tokyo. So far in his career, Lyles has earned six world titles at the World Championships. To add to his already remarkable medal collection, he will be competing in the upcoming 2024 Olympics in Paris, while attempting to beat Usain Bolt as the world's fastest man. Last year, Noah Lyle's performance at the 2023 World Championships in Budapest was a highlight for USA men's sprinting. The American star won triple gold in the 100 meter, 200 meter, and the four by 100 meter relay and, in the process, earned the moniker of fastest man in the world. In Paris, he is targeting four gold medals. Before that, though, he will be competing at the U.S. Trials, where he will be among a stacked field of elite sprinters competing in the U.S. Olympic Team Trials. Track and field at Hayward Field in Eugene, Oregon, looking to qualify for the Olympic Games Paris 2024. He will compete in the 100-meter and 200-meter events. His trials will kick off with the 100-meter first-round heats on the second day. The semifinals will be held the following afternoon, with finals closing out Sunday night's competition. He will then be back for the men's 200 meter, which will be held over three days, beginning on June 27th with the first round heats. Semifinals are scheduled the following day, and finals will close out the day after that. It goes without saying that the defending world champion will be going all out to represent the US in a second Olympic Games. Some may even argue that he is more than ready for that, especially since Lyles has raced the 100 meter three times this season, shaving time off at each stop. In April, Noah Lyles made a winning start to his outdoor season at the Tom Jones Memorial Invitational in Gainesville, Florida. There, the 26-year-old edged out Olympic 200 meter silver medalist Kenny Bednarek to win the 100 meter in 10.01. Both men were awarded the same time, but Lyles crossed the line five thousandths of a second in front. Kyrie King ran 10.02 in third, with Japan's Abdul Hakim Sani Brown fourth clocking in 10.04 seconds. Lyles blitzed to victory in the men's 100 meters in gusty conditions at the USATF Bermuda Grand Prix. Now let's see if that top end speed is there. Oh yes, it is, and Noah Lyles gonna go sub 10. It was notably his second outdoor appearance of the season, stopping the clock in a wind-dated time of 9.96 seconds. Then, in early June, he showed up at the Racers Grand Prix, intending to break the national stadium record in the 100 meter. For those unaware, the Racers Grand Prix is a premier track and field meet, showcasing the best of Racers T and F Club, Jamaica and the world. What's the stadium record, 9.75? Let's go after that, why not? Shoot for the stars, aim for the moon. 
I'd love to see a PR tomorrow, Lyles proclaimed. Unfortunately for him, at least, he had not been able to break the stadium record after he passed the finish line at 9.85 seconds. He had to settle for second place after Jamaica's oblique Seville. Although Lyles also wasn't able to set a new personal best, his time was a season best. It was Lyles' first legal sub-10 clocking and his first loss over 100 meter this season. He later admitted that he was disappointed with the starter, even though he was satisfied with his performance. Meanwhile, in the 200 meter his marquee event, he will be looking to match his past performance at Hayward Field in Eugene. At the World Championships in 2022, he set a new national record time of 19.31, marking the third fastest time in that event ever. As most of you know, the American champion ran his 200-meter season opener at the USATF NYC Grand Prix in New York City a few days after the Racers Grand Prix. There, he also expressed his intent to take down the Icon Stadium record of 19.58 seconds that was set by Tyson Gay in 2009. Despite the less-than-ideal conditions on the track, the starting blocks were slipping and wrongly indicating false starts. While some races had athletes running into almost 7 mile per hour headwinds, Lyles still cruised to a win. Truly, we can't expect anything less from him. He crossed the finish line in 19.77 seconds. Here Although, comes the late charge from Farnbuller, but Noah Lyles cuts the 20 second barrier into a significant headwind as well. That is a notable performance from Noah Lyles, 19.77 the fourth fastest time in the world this year. Although his time did not quite live up to his expectations, his time of 19.77 is just 0.1 seconds short of Kenny Bednarik's current world lead. But here's the thing, Bednarik's world lead came with a tailwind of 1.7, while Lyles' time came with a headwind of 1.6. On his way to Paris, Lyles will be competing among a stacked US men's sprinting field in the US Olympic team trials, with some of the world's best set to compete. He will basically be up against Fred Curley, Kenneth Bednorek, Christian Coleman, Kyrie King, and Arion Knighton in the 200 meter. It will be a tough race as they are all looking to earn their way to Paris 2024. As you are all well aware by now, Lyles isn't shy about his desire to be the face of track and field. Anything I do, I wanna do to the best of my ability, Lyles said to USA Today Sports, just as much as I want to be the best at track and field, I also want to be the most recognized athlete in track and field. Well, in order for him to stake his claim as the face of men's track and field, he has to come up golden at the Olympics. It is no secret to you as well that he has lofty ambitions for this year's Summer Olympics. As you saw earlier, he made an appearance on The Tonight Show, hosted by Jimmy Fallon, where he shared his goal of winning four golds in Paris. Well, you gotta get four. Okay. Nobody's done for. Okay. Now you're going on the Mount Rushmore. Now you're the greatest of the great. Wow. That's where I'm trying to attain. Noah, that's what I'm talking about, bud. That's what I'm talking about. I love this. Well, Jimmy sure didn't try to hide his admiration for the athlete. Who can blame him, really? Even Jamaican track legend Usain Bolt recognizes the champion mentality of the Lyles. In the show, Jimmy unveiled an exclusive clip from the new Netflix docuseries Sprint in which Bolt talked about the sprinter who plans to break his records. He referred to Lyles as a great athlete, further stating that the younger sprinter is full of energy, has the crowd, and is strong mentally. Lyle if you break the world record, I'm not gonna be happy. <laughs> world records are meant to be broken. I wish them all the best, but it's not gonna be easy. <laughs> Lyles, too, knows that it would not be easy, but he's nothing if not someone who thrives in challenges. It's been a well, long time since somebody done it. I mean, Bolt was the last person to do it. But growing up, I've always felt that that title belongs to me. Well, we'll just have to wait for the trials to see how close he is to achieving that goal. Watch this to see who else will be at the trials.